we have to resist temptation to our the blood pours out of us and say, no, I'm not going to do it. Amen? Amen. And with many other words, he exhorted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to the church. Amen. Now, man, think about this. How in the world can somebody take care of 3,000 people in one day? Most of us, we want to build a church, and we do all these things, and... And, and, and we get the church built, and it takes time. But 3,000 people in one day, that's hard to handle. So here's 3,000 people. They are all part of the group that killed God. Now they're part of his church. Amen. Okay, and these same people who were killers, of course, if you're a killer, you're going to be a thief. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. It goes hand in hand. That's why Jesus was crucified between two thieves. And they let the killer go free. They let the killer go free. They let the killer go free. Go free. So here, here we are. Here's these 3,000 people. All of a sudden they're saved. And the word says that they began daily adhering to the apostles' doctrine and breaking bread from house to house and in prayers. And, and there was a sense of awe and the fear of God and the awe of God fell on everybody. And they began going house to house and to church every day. And so they started selling their extra stuff that they had. And then they took the money and they brought it to the apostles because the apostles were already trained not to be greedy. And so they could be trusted with finances. And that way, because the apostles ain't going to go buy a Rolls Royce with the money, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And so they laid the money at the apostles' feet. They, they, these people worked hard for what they had, you know what I'm saying? And stuff was left to them from their grandparents and their great-grandparents, and they sold these things. And they took the money, and they brought it to the man of God. And the man of God distributed the money to everybody as, as, as everybody had need. And there was no need. And they continued daily from house to house fellowshipping and breaking bread and having favor with all people Amen, yeah. with simplicity and sincerity of heart and God was with them and the Bible says and the Lord added to the church daily those that were being saved now I know this for sure that when you open your house up and you start letting hundreds of people into your home at the end of the day you ain't going to have much left Right? Because people are going to steal. They're going to go through your drawers. They're going to go through your personal lives. They're going to steal it. And then go sell it. And do drugs with it. Because that's what we do as sinners. Am I correct? Sure. We started at a young age. I started early. You know, most of us start early. And these people here, these killers, they open in their homes. And people are walking in and out of their house and, and, and hanging out and nothing is missing. To me, that's a miracle. That's a miracle. So instead of nothing missing, everybody has plenty. Amen. You understand? So what happened? They had a different attitude. They sold the stuff instead of stole the stuff. They stole it and they gave it away and it didn't have to be stolen because they sold it. And then they gave it and everybody had money and nobody was in need and nobody was hurting each other and nobody was killing God anymore and nobody was being selfish and greedy and self-centered. You know what? They were living on the earth how we're going to live in heaven. Because the Bible says in heaven, do not store up treasure on this earth where thieves yeah. break in and steal. Yep. It says but store, your treasure is where your heart is. Store up treasure in heaven where there no moth corrupts where no thieves are and break in and steal. And you shall be called children of God. Amen. 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 So here we have a, a bunch of killers that killed God. Now they're selling all their stuff and they're feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, making sure people got a place to live, dealing with homelessness and addictions and all the all the things that we struggle with. And they're all loving each other. Nobody's condemning each other. And everybody's forgiven. And everybody's cool. And it's a beautiful family. And so I think 
that we can live the same way. Amen. And I think that we need to get back to the basics because... Down to the roots. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Because it seems like if we get away from it, we get caught up in all this activity that's what I call dead work. You can have works and dead works. There's something that's called God's will and then our will. You know what I'm saying? And so these people, they, they, they hooked up with God. They connected with him.